Hi there, it's Sandy Allnock here with some mass production cards using a cotton ball and a set of stamps that are just so, so cute. I picked up Catherine Pooler's Ooh Baby stamp set. It's a new baby set, but I got it because I wanted to make general cards with it. I was intrigued by the layering stamps, those shadow dark shapes. They're intended to be used like this, and you stamp the color of the shadow portion of the stamp and then the line portion, and then there are also is a set of dies, and you can cut out a bunny-shaped head and a panda bear-shaped head, etc. And you can definitely use them that way, but I wanted to give you another idea in case you want to get that set and use them as intended, or also have other ideas, because you can always take the stamps that you get and use them differently. So I'm gonna make some really adorable little clean and simple cards and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them because they were so much fun to do. This works best with medium to dark colored paper. I'm gonna use some midnight ink. You can use whatever black ink you've got that you want to stamp with and stamp this first portion. It doesn't matter if you stamp it well or not. It can be, you know, it's just for placement at this point. So I dried it so that when I do this next step, I don't end up smooshing the black ink at all. I'm going to use a white pigment ink. This one happens to be from Lawn Fawn. That's the only white ink that's in my drawer. And I'm applying it with the cotton ball. Just tapping it on. And I'm trying to make sure that I go past the ears, like the bottom of the ears, because I want the ears to look like they're set into the fur. And depending on your pigment ink, you may need to do this and then dry it and then do another layer if you don't get it nice and white. And know for the most part that pigment inks generally are going to soften as they dry, soften over time. So my finished cards after I was all done ended up being a little softer than this, but I am perfectly okay with it because they were so dang cute it didn't even matter. So for the body, I'm just going to do some of the Midnight Black ink with another cotton ball to make a little body. I went a little bit too high up with the black, so I can go back in and go over top of that with some of the white ink again and you know as I said if you need to dry it in between perfectly fine to do I made a horizontal line across the bottom because I'm gonna put my sentiment down there and then I'm gonna restamp on top of this just the eye portions because remember I said I wanted those ears to look like they're behind the fur that was how I achieved it when I stamped the eye eye holes the eye spots on top of white it made them come out not perfectly stamped, which means when I drew the eyes back in with a fountain pen, or you can use a Sharpie or something else, then I didn't actually have to worry about not being able to see the eyes because they, they came out a little bit more like gray eyes or gray eye spots so that the black eyes showed up. A little white pen highlight, and then I stamped the sentiment right across the bottom of it so it almost looks like the little bear is coming out of the sentiment and just did some faux stitching along the bottom. And I made a whole bunch of them. So cute. You can see how on the pink one, the pink comes through. So different kinds of cardstock will have different reactions to the ink. And you won't know that until you try them. But I think it's cute anyway. So there are four of these. I did four of each one of them. The, there's four animals in the set. So let's proceed with the next one. This one is the kitty cat. And there isn't much here on the shadow portion of the stamp. It's just, there's ears and there's a little nose. But what this does, just stamping this portion down first, gives you a general sense of where that head should be. Like, where is the place that you want to put it? And with mine, I wanted to just stamp all of the sentiments at once. So I wanted them all in the same place. I just aligned my sticky note on each one at the four and a half inch mark on my Misty. And then I always had that same place. So when I stamp the sentiments across it, it just worked out. Now with the kitty, I'm going to use some twilight ink. It's a gray ink and I'm making my kitty by adding a little bit of black along one side because my kitty has one spot on one eye and I thought it would be fun to do the, the kind of markings that my cat has. On this one, I didn't worry about the fur coming out in front of the ears so much. You could go in with a cotton ball or with the q-tip like this and do the ears but I just used the cotton ball to make or the, the q-tip to make the little collar on the kitty and then drew in the eyes so you can draw them as open eyes as little circles 
or you can make them as little arcs to make it look like the kitty's eyes are closed. Lots of different ways that you can make these kitties custom and give them all kinds of personality. Since I was making four, I tried making one that was a white kitty and one that was a black kitty with a little bit of highlight on its head. So you can play around with them. It's just kind of fun to do. Try different inks as well, different kinds of papers. You could do this with all different sorts of supplies. Next up is going to be the puppy. So there's a uh, little puppy ears with one spot. I wish I had two spots. I could draw, of course, the second spot on and then it would be my little Vienna since she has two spots, but I'm gonna leave it with the way the stamp is. Put the white down, create the little body. You can make a skinny dog, you can make a fat dog. You can choose whatever size you want. And if you're making your own dog, you can make it custom to whatever kinds of colors you've got on your pup. And you could even do this on light papers if you don't want to do it with the white. You could do it on light papers with brown and gray inks and create your own dog and just stamp the eyes and the ears and the spots and things on. And make sure if you're going to use fountain pen, I've found out the hard way, not in this one, but I found out in the hard way that you should dry it first. So if you try to do fountain pen work on top of the wet ink, you might end up with a little bit of trouble coming your way. I also found that I could go over this with another pen. I used a Tombow here to fill in the ears because they didn't stamp fully because I was stamping on top of wet ink. But you could also use a Copic on top of that once it's completely dry, that sort of thing. And they look really cute on all different colors of paper. This one I've added the little collar the same way as I did with the kitty cat. So the little puppy has a collar. They have little highlights on their eyes and noses. Really sweet. So this is going to give me a whole bunch of cards I can send out. I'm so excited. I've been cardless in my my little bin of of cards that I keep them all in. So next up is going to be the rabbit. The rabbit is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to do it first on black because you need to stamp it in white. You can't stamp black on black. But I also didn't want the ears to be black or a white bunny. That would be really weird. Actually, I tried it once because I was just trying to go through the same motions and I went, okay, that looked dumb. So I tried it again and did white ears, adding the white fur of the head and then a little white body. You could do the body also with a Q-tip if you are looking to make a skinny body or just squeeze the cotton ball down. There's my dog outside being jealous of me talking about bunnies and not puppies anymore. I don't know if you can hear her in the distance, but Vienna is my, my neighborhood barker. She's the alarm system for us all. And once it's all done, I stamped the white ears and I wanted them to feel a little pink, but I didn't have any pink pigment ink. So I just took some red ink and tapped on a little bit using my Q-tip. I stamped it very, very lightly so I would get just barely a little tiny bit of pink on there. And if you need to use the Q-tip to soften where the ears and the head meet to blunt that edge a little bit, if it's too harsh, then draw on your little face. And these were fun to play around with different ways to use this bunny stamp. The black bunny was especially cute. He was a lot of fun to do on the pink paper. Because those little beady eyes are adorable. He makes me smile. He feels like he should be in a cartoon or something. He's so cute. And then this little upside down ears bunny. I thought it would be fun to play with. You could also do a sheep this way by turning the ears upside down, or you could do a dog that has ears that hang down. Lots of different ways you can play with these and make other animals out of the same stamps. So there is my little ideas for you today. If you want to pick those up, there's lists of all the supplies in the doobly do including the dies if you want to get those so that you can stamp them as they're intended, as well as do some of my crazy ideas. And I will see you guys later on in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.